good evening good evening thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and uh, we're, we're all SMEs um, thank you for for tuning in today today's topic I want to talk about sustainability certification for SMEs and the clapping that you just heard is uh, programmed I'm not standing in front of a thousand people sustainability certification for SMEs why is certification so difficult for many SMEs so that's the topic that I want to talk about today um, it's evening it's 9 50 p.m. 20th December Sunday and a few years ago I started my first project doing or, or helping an SME of 19 people um, including the boss and the sister I think is 21 and this particular SME was was is is a company that provides um, corporate gifts Many of their clients are the big banks and the, the and the bigger companies who will purchase their corporate gifts for their own clients. So I was brought into this project in 2017, three years ago, and I was asked to guide them through the certification process. They were involved in not one but two certification processes, or, or two um, certification uh, two two pieces of certification work and there are some similarities between the two if I were with them from the onset I would probably have advised them that they actually don't really need to to go for two one would would be enough so from that project which is so far my still my biggest project or piece of work in certification I learned quite a bit of things and I'm going to share with you why certification can be quite difficult or, or very hard for, for for many SMEs so the first point I'm going to share with you is the lack of experience and track record when it comes to implementing sustainability practices and that, in fact, is probably the, the number one or one of the main challenges many SMEs will face. So they go on to certification. They are handed or being, being given a 40, 50 page criteria list, a list of criteria that they have to fulfill. And many a times it will scare them. It will scare the lot out of the management and the employees who may be involved because these so many pages of criterion that they have to fulfill will look very complicated and very difficult because of the lack of uh, track record when it comes to sustainability practices. On the positive side, you can look at it as a good way to implement sustainability practices especially those which might be relevant but new to the company the downside is this may make the certification process longer than expected um, but if the client understands why it is usually quite okay the client has to have the right expectations especially when they don't have the track record or the experience in in implementation of sustainability practices then the certification process will need to be longer the, the second point which I want to talk about which contributes to the difficulty SMEs will face when it comes to sustainability certification is that there is a shortage of specialized personnel in the company in, uh, in implementing the criteria or implementing practices to to meet the criterion and this issue of shortage of specialized personnel is a very very relevant very common issue or challenge in many SMEs for many SMEs here in Singapore still 
having people who are trained, educated and informed about sustainability practices is still quite a big challenge. And it's still uh, uh, fairly common to see companies, especially SMEs, with, uh, with almost no one or nobody in the company uh, who has uh, good enough knowledge or, or experience in the implementation of sustainability practices. That's common. The third and the last point I want, that I want to talk about in my short podcast, most of my podcasts tend not to be longer than six to seven minutes, um, supply chain issue. When an SME wants to go for a certification, a lot of times the certification will touch on supply chain and if handled, uh, if not handled properly or if, if handled with less sensitivity, the certification process may actually sour or damage the relationship the SME may have with their, their, their clients, sorry, their supply chain. The suppliers, some of whom may have a very long relationship with the SME, it needs to be, this is something that the SME needs to th- thread very carefully. In order to fulfill a criterion, you may need to ditch certain suppliers or if not ditch the, the suppliers, you may, you may need to work things out with your supply chain to ditch certain, certain business practices that your suppliers may be involved in. You may need to look for new suppliers. You may need to relook at the contract or the working relationship with your existing supply chain. So these are complexities SMEs face when it comes to certification. And so this is Kevin. My name is Kevin. And if you, if you have time, go on to my website, um, nihimaya.global. Nihimaya Private Limited. That's uh, that's the the few words that you can type on Google search box to go to my company's website. Um, to the next time when I talk about talk more about sustain sustainability and the SMEs, drop me a line. My email is Kevin at Nihimaya dot global, and um, feel free to ask me questions. Thank you and good night.